Hello everyone, I am your English teacher Shabana and I hope that you all are fit and fine at your home. So class, today we are going to start our new topic that is Aromatic Paya Core. So, first of all we should learn what is the onomatopoeia. So class, onomatopoeia is a figure of speech and what is a figure of speech? Yes, figure of speech, we use a figure of speech to make our language effective and interesting. So, today we will know what is onomatopoeia word. So, in onomatopoeia, we learn uh, about the words that make the sound, they, that tells us the sounds of uh, things, object, uh, things or objects uh, and animals and persons. So, class, uh, just for example, when you uh, throw something forcefully into the water, then uh, it produces a sound, uh, Yes? And what is the sound? What is the sound? Yes. The sound is splash. The sound is splash. So splash. Splash denotes a sound. Splash S-P-L-A-S-H. Splash denotes a sound. That's why it is an anomatic P of word. So it is clear to all. Yes. When a word, when a word denotes a sound, it is an anomatic P of word. Either it is uh, of a thing or it is the sound of person or any animal. So class, today we will learn some words of onomatopoeia that is called onomatopoeia words. So, bus, can you tell me about this sound? Which animal makes this sound? Bus, a honeybee makes the sound buzz. Honeybee, buzzing always. Now, the next word, his. This word also denotes the sound of a snake. This is a uh, this is the sound of a snake. His and toot toot. I have taught you recently this word in uh, the chapter number ten. When the train signal in chapter number ten, where it makes the sound toot toot and tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. This is the sound of a clock. So a clock always makes the sound tick tock. Boo boo. The dog cries, clap, clap is a word, we all know it is also a verb but it denotes a sound. It denotes a sound when we put our hands together to make, uh, it makes a sound that is clap. That is clap. That's why it is an onomatopoeia word. Next is boom, boom when uh, something uh, is uh, exploited then it makes a sound boom. Next is pitter patter. Peter Peter, the sound of raindrops. Yes. Have you ever heard that word? Peter Peter? Yes, it denotes the sound of the raindrops. So class, now we will do our let's try that is on page number 45 and in this let's try we have to match the sounds with their correct meanings. Now class, we will do let's try 4 that is on page number 45 in your book. So, in let's try 4, we have to match the uh, words with their correct person, object or animal. So, here are uh, the meanings of the onomatic PF word and the other side, there are the onomatic PF word. So, first of all, we will read the first sound of water dropping. Sound of water dropping. So, sound of water dropping. Sound of water dropping, yes, drip drop. The sound of water dropping is drip drop. So, we will match with the drip drop. So, we can match or we can write the number of the meaning. So, sound of water dropping is match it with the first meaning. So, the water dropping sound is drip drop so class you have to match you have to match with the uh, with it the second is sound of the car horn sound of the car horn jo car ka car ka horn hota hai uske sound ko kya kehte hai so sound of the car horn is called honk so we will write the second here we will match the second meaning with the honk f and the next is sound of a train the sound of a train? Yes. 
I have told you, I have told you about uh, the sound uh, that is toot toot when the train signal to move, signal to move uh, from uh, somewhere, then it uh, makes a sound toot toot, and the uh, the proper sound of the train is click tick clack. What is the sound of a train? Click tick clack. So we will match with the third one with click tick clack. So we can write the number. Also, in front of it. Okay, class. Now we will do the next one. Sound of a door opening. So, when we open the door, it makes a sound. So, tell me the sound of uh, the door opening. Creak. The door opening sound is creak. The next is sound of something dropping. Sound of something dropping. When we drop something on the floor or, or on uh, uh, or on some object, then it makes a sound. So, what is the sound of uh, something dropping? Crash? Yes. Crash is the correct answer. When we drop something on the floor or on any object, then it makes a sound. Crash. It is all about the word. And now we will do, do the next one. Sound of a cat. You all know the sound of cat. You can make the sound by yourself. Yes, meow. Cat always makes the sound. Meow, meow. So, we will. Where is the meow? A. A is the correct answer of this one. Sound of a cat. Meow. Next is. Sound of asking, sound of asking someone to be quiet. When a teacher tells to you to be quiet in the class, then it makes the sound. She makes the sound. She makes the sound. She makes the sound. So where is she? Yes, E. E is one correct. Sound of asking someone to be quiet. It is. So we will. Write the number of the meaning in front of it. So class, here are some, here are some onomatopoeia word and here are some, uh, here are some, the meanings of the onomatopoeia word. So we can match the, with the, match with the correct sounds, with their meanings. So class, this let's try code you have to do in your course book and we will discuss our next topic in our next video and in Zoom class. So class, bye-bye. Take care of yourself and keep doing your work.